just kidding. Okay, uh, just so you know, no, I'm kidding, this isn't one of those. In this particular video, I am, this is completely instructional, there's not going to be any, anything paranoid, Mr. Smarty Pants. And I do also, um, I'm wearing a shirt, Mr. Smarty Pants number two. Although you're not able to see me, because I, it's, you know, it's drawing on paper. So this is an instructional, instructional video about the uh, secondary modifiers for ritual and uh, the primary modifiers being the talisman, and I'll have that out soon, uh, as soon as I finish. This thing. is cut short, I'm, so if it's choppy, then just bear with me because I ran out of my 10 minutes. Thanks. Hi. Okay. Secondary modifiers. These are uh, secondary to the talisman, which I'm going to be showing you how to make later. Um, this is graph paper, obviously, and this is what I really can't see how one could be without it, either making talisman or the secondary modifier. And here's some examples of talisman, but these are not going to, um, these are not the proper colors. And I was attempting to, this is with colored pencil, and they come out differently, um, use flashing colors. So, and now we're talking about secondary modifiers, which I wrote about, but uh, this is the kind of thing that it, I was saying is very hard to explain. So I'm going to do so here. Okay, this is what that is. And I know you're going to say, well, how do you use them? So I'm, I'm going to tell you, but first I'm going to show you how to make them to make sure that it's clear. Now these should be on papers this big. This is the si standard size that I use for both parchment paper for um, during ritual to draw the demon sigils on. and. Uh, and this is what you will be drawing the modifiers on. The talisman I'll get to later, but those are the primary modifiers that should be used during this one. Okay, um, I've already drawn in colored pencil Hermes here. So this is for, for Wednesday. Say you are conducting a Wednesday r ritual and you want to enhance it. You need t to make one of these. And this is specific for Wednesday and for Mercury because Mercury rules Wednesday. So create one of these and why? what's the purpose of this? It uh, definitely enhances the power of the ritual and it harnesses uh, planetary energies and to completely focuses them, especially with the talisman. So that's why I said earlier when I wrote actually to use the uh, specific hour of the specific day for ritual. So conduct, you know, uh, Thursday, Jupiter, Friday, Venus, Saturday, Saturn. You go with the flow of the day. Because if you don't, then you're missing out on a lot of power. Um, and I'll explain later. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay, now, according to the document that I put out, this is Hermes for Wednesday. You can barely see it. I guess you can see it, so I don't have to trace it again in marker. And the first thing you do is trace Hermes uh, as you draw it out. Next, and I say I write this a lot, but I don't know if anybody does it. It's very important. Actually, I think I am going to draw it because you're not going to be able to see it. Now, the Greek, see, you notice I said they rule the, the beta state of mind, which is our waking conscious state. Um, it's interesting that their sigils are three-dimensional also. Um, three dimensions, you know, being closer to ours than a two-dimensional sigil. And yes, they do have to be drawn uh, in the three-dimensional way. Um, it's very important, actually. Okay. It's, this is very tricky at first to do. Um, this is uh, Hermes, Messenger of the Gods. 
I'm not kidding you, you will see physical manifestations. You seriously can expect to see them. Uh, they're like vapors, I mean, either vapors or actual physical presences. And if you scry, you will, you know, if you, if you have not been able to scry but have tried, you, when you're working with these, you will be able to. Okay, so you draw it out, and then with the middle and index finger, um, you can and you can actually feel the pressure on the other side, obviously. But this is very important. Just a little tiny bit of chi energy is all that you need to make any magic work. And here we're going to be using quite a bit because I happen to emit quite a bit. But um, so you repeat it. You say Hermes, 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 Hermes. Hermes, 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 like that. Well, you write it out first, obviously. Um. So hers is as follows. And make sure you have enough room to do this from top to bottom. See, I sh this is actually going to be too boring for you to sit here and watch me write it out. So what, what I'm trying to get at is use this size paper, but this is the finished product. After you've done this, after you've got the square, you know, written out, then you're able to talk to Karmara because you've already talked to Hermes as far as invocations popular. So you'd say, Kardamara, I invoke thee in the name of Hermes of Greece and Satan, that I might approach with success the powers of Bleestone in the name of Benapsol, Brorges, and Bleestone. Hail Bleestone, hail Brorges, hail Benapsol, hail Satan. Like so. And uh, in this case, you now can be... This isn't here yet when I did that, okay? So, now it is, you know, then you proceed to draw Bleasdon, and of course while you're doing this, you repeat Bleasdon, 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 you know, if at all possible, you know, you don't want to lose, uh, you don't want to, especially with these, uh, you should say Karmara when writing them out at least three times, four times, but um, if you think you're going to mess up, then don't do it, just say it in your head because uh, then you're going to screw up the paper, especially because you're going to need to do this in blue ink. Okay, after that, with black ink, you write on top of this the, the Greek god, which I did get from Simon's book of 50 names. I think it's called the Necronomicon Spellbook. And I consequently thought that these were fiction because I don't see how they could not be fiction because of Lovecraft as a writer. So that took me by surprise when I was told that to use these. Okay, uh, so... Having picked from, as it says in the paper, uh, the number of the demons that corresponds to Mercury, again, working with the day, I picked Blaze Dunn, who happens to uh, be able to win contests, arguments, and so forth. And then you uh, do the same thing as you trace it Blaze Dunn, 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 Blaze Dunn. Hail Blaze Dawn, Hail Satan, like that. Um, and just follow the instructions with the invocations. You could vary them a little bit, but try to stick to one. So that way, as you repeat this, you can, um, you know, you'll have it memorized in your mind. So you have the secondary modifier created already, we'll say. Okay, so that's the end. That's what I meant by cutting it short. And I did notice that whiteout on my hand. It's extraordinarily irritating, and I apologize for that. So just uh, bear with the video, please. Thank you very much. This is Salem Burke.